Here's why I'm running for president, folks. Several reasons, but I'm only going to share with you the top two. Number one, 12 years ago, my first grandchild was born. First time I looked into that little baby's face, the first thought that crossed my mind was what do I do to help make this a better nation and a better world? I didn't know the answer then. 12 years later, it's when I figured out what it was that God Almighty wanted me to do. You see, in life, there are two plans. There's your plan, and there's God's plan. God didn't tell me his plan until later in life because it would have scared me to death. See, when I was growing up, I never, I wasn't a little boy saying, I want to grow up and be president one day. Coming from a whole family, my American dream was, I wanted to make me some money. But the first thing was when I looked into that little baby's face and saw that little face and thought about all of the other little faces in this nation. What do I do with my time, talent, and skills in order to make this a better nation? And then the other thing that prompted me to pray about, consider, pray about and consider running for president happened when Barack Obama took office. I could not stand the weakening of America. And I happen to believe we are a weaker nation. And as I watched the bad legislation shoved down the throats of the American people, excessive spending with no end in sight, and the arrogance of an administration that believed that he and his people knew best what was good for the American people. I could not sit there and not do what I could do. And so my challenge to you is, we all must do what we can do in order to take our nation back. And as Emerald Lagasse, the famous chef says, we've all got to kick it up a notch. I got out of cruise control to do this, to run for president. You've got to kick it up a notch to make sure that we do this right this time around in 2012. Because it's not about us. It's about the grandkids. It's about the grandkids and the kids. It's why we do what we do. And I'm optimistic that we can do this. Because there's something going on around this country that quite frankly, a lot of people really don't get yet. It has different names, but I call it the citizens movement. People are becoming more and more mobilized. Some of the sweetest words I love to hear as I travel and speak, when people come up and say, this is the first time I've ever been to an event to listen to a speech from someone running for office. This is the first time I've ever contributed to somebody running for office. Why? Because Americans have gone from being fearful about the future of this country to becoming straight out scared for the future of this country. And many of you feel the same thing. But the way we can change it is we've got to change the occupant of the White House. We've got to get a majority in the Senate and maintain a majority in the House of Representatives so we can put this nation back on track. We are not a socialist country. We are a capitalistic democracy, a free market system, and we've got to get back on track. So my challenge to you is to help restore the American dream. My mom was a domestic worker. My dad was a barber, a janitor, and a chauffeur. Dad worked three jobs in order to be able to achieve his American dream. One of his American dreams was to be able to own a whole house for the family. One of his other dreams was for his sons to get a little bit better start in life than he did, and we did. We now have a responsibility to give 
give our kids and grandkids the same opportunity to the American dream that we had. But on the course that we're on today, it's not going to happen. We've got to change that course. We've got to change that course. So everybody's got to kick it up a notch. And in the words of the closing song of the 2000 Olympic, life can be a challenge. Life can seem impossible. It's never easy when there's so much on the line. But you can make a difference. There's a mission just for you. Just look inside and you will find just what you can do. Don't look at what you can't do. Look inside and you will find just what you can do. We can take back America. We can restore the American dream. And we can restore the pride in America that we are an exceptional nation and that we are the United States of America. God bless you and thank you.